graph the function y equals x squared minus x minus 6. This is a quadratic function and when you graph it you get a parabola. Okay. Now a parabola is going to have a vertex so the first thing we want to talk about is the vertex of the parabola. So we're going to determine a formula for the vertex. Now you remember this formula? This is the quadratic formula Okay, for the quadratic equation. All right, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And if we throw out most of the hard part of that stuff, all that radical stuff, we'll have negative b over 2a. That is the x coordinate of the vertex. So what does it look like? Negative b over 2a without all that b squared minus 4ac stuff, okay? Now, if this is x, then f of x will be f of this. Okay, so this is the um, the vertex. Okay, so we're going to have a vertex of this quadratic equation here, and uh, draw a little bit bigger, and let a be one. B then is this number right here, and c is the minus six. Okay, and here's my formula for the vertex. We want the opposite of b over 2 times the value for a. Now b is a minus 1, so the opposite of a minus 1, and 2 times a where a is a plus 1. Okay? Now I'm going to replace this with a 1 here. Okay? The opposite of minus 1 is going to be a 1, so I'm going to replace all this with a 1. Okay? And 2 times 1 for the denominator, I'm just going to have a 2. So the x. Um, value is of uh, the vertex is one half. Now I have to do f of this, okay? f of this. So here's f of x, where x is one half. We're going to do f of one half, okay? Okay, now when you say x squared, what does that mean? x times x, okay? So we're going to put one half here and here. Let's see, this is f of one half. For this x, put one half. For this x put one half, you're going to have one times one half. Okay? Now one times one is one, and two times two is four. So one times one is one, two times two is four. We're going to have one fourth, and we're going to have one times one half is what? What's one times one half? It's going to be minus one times one half. Of course, you have the minus six here. Now you have one fourth, okay? And one half is two fourths. Don't forget your minus 6. So when you do that, you're going to get negative 6 and 1 fourth. So the vertex is 1 half and minus 6 and 1 fourth. That's the vertex. Okay, we have our vertex. When you graph this, the first thing we want to do does, to know is does this open upward or downward? And then we want to graph the vertex. Okay, we already found the vertex, didn't we? We're going to graph the vertex, and we're going to graph the intercepts, all right? All right, so that's going to allow us to graph this function here. Now, let's look at the um, a model function y equals x squared. What does that look like? Okay, what does this look like? If you have y equals x squared, x squared is positive, isn't it? Huh? Isn't x squared, whenever you square something, don't you, don't you get a positive? So we are saying y is positive. Okay? On my graph, where is y positive? Well, y is positive up here, isn't it? Okay? So this graph would have to open up here, upward. Okay? All right? So if y is positive, y must go up. All right? Now, another kind of a model graph is where y is, well, x squared is positive, so we're saying y is the opposite of positive, aren't we? So we're saying that y is negative. Now, where is y negative on this graph? How about down here? Okay, so if it's y equals negative x squared, it goes down, okay? Now, that's when you have x squared. What if y is squared? What if y is squared? Then since y squared is positive, then it says x is 
positive. Okay, now where is x positive? How about everywhere to the right, huh? Okay, so we've gone upward, we've gone downward, we've gone right. The only thing we can do is go left. And that's what happens when x is negative. Remember, y squared is positive. The opposite of positive is negative, so we're saying x is negative. Where is x negative? To the left, isn't it? Okay. All right, so now what is our function going to say? This is y is x squared, isn't it? And it looks like this which means it opens upward because y is positive when it goes up okay so we're gonna go up it's gonna open upward and now we wanted to get our vertex vertex you're going one half to the right start at zero zero go half a unit to the right and then go down how much one two three four five six and a fourth more not quite the seven a little bit more than six downward and we're going up aren't we okay we're going up so that's what it looks like that's the graph of that 